Okay, well, welcome back to our creating our Internet of Things device, display device, Raspberry Pi. We've uh, created the certificates, uh, created the device. We've looked at the Lambda code. And the last thing we did was look at the uh, Lambda code and we need to upload that and create the Lambda. And we've checked, obviously, our program runs on our Raspberry Pi as well. So we need to now to go to our AWS site. Uh, if you go back to services, you can find that here or type it in here. Uh, we create, and we're going to need to create a new device. So we're going to create a new function. Uh, we'll give it a name. I'll call it my display device. Like that will do, won't it? Uh, we just check that we're using the right software. Remember, we're using Python. Uh, Python 3.8 is the latest. Um, we're going to use an execution role. We're just going to use the new role with basic Lambda permissions. That should give us permissions to do ex execute the cloud option things, which we might want to do if things aren't working. And we'll create our function. Now, what we need to do is we'll need to upload our function took a while. Upload our function. You will at some point. Remember, we're going to have a write an Alexa skill, which will need to know about this, and this will need to know about the Alexa skill. So this is what we'll need to record for our Alexa skill. Well, we'll come back to that in a bit when we finally add a trigger to add an Alexa skill trigger. We'll come back to that. We need to upload our code. We can't edit in line now, so we'll upload a zip file. We'll click upload. And if you remember, we called it something like Lambda function. That's not in alphabetical order. Try again. Lambda function dots it. There it is. So we'll open and upload that. And if we save that, that should create our Lambda function over here. So create the function. Oh, just one thing you should do is just check that you're using the right area. I always use US East, even though I'm in the UK. Uh, we've done this. We've created our function. We've uploaded the file. It should upload. Uh, oh, yes. Don't forget. If you've used AWS endpoint in your code, then you'll need to use the line of code that looks like that. You'll need to set this up in your uh, environment in here. So that's the software uploaded. What we'll now need to do is we'll need to add a trigger to this and we'll need to add an Alexa skill skip trigger. And at the same time, of course, we now need to go over to the developer console um, to create the skill. And that's where we'll fill in this skill ID here. So we'll now go to the developer console. Oh, I was messing around before and create a new skill. So what our skill will do, do something like this. Um, you will say something like, open your Pi display. Alexa will respond, so you can turn the display red or sparkle. You will say hello, and the device will flash hello or hi there. Or you can say it's red or sparkle and so on. And then program terminates. So do we need to go to our developer, Amazon.com, go to the development console, choose the Alexa skills kit and create the skill. We're going to start from scratch. So select choose. So create a skill. Give it a name. My uh, what shall I call it? Raspberry thing. Mm -hmm. 
custom create a scale. From scratch. And this takes us into our area where we normally create our skill. So there are some default intents there. We've got an invocation. So we've called it my raspberry thing. And we can add our intents. So we could add an intent. And one of our intents was something like, hello world intent, if you remember that, from the code. Create the intent. You might say hi or hello or good morning or hi there and so on. We can do that for the other one as well. We can create another intent, add a new intent. It's, uh, what was it called? It was called Red Intent, I believe. And to say that, you might say, go red, turn red, red, and so on. Or then we might add another one, which was called Sparkle Intent. Create the intent, and you might say sparkle, uh, go mad, twinkle, etc. Okay, so we've now got these intents, and this is all covered here. We've added some utterances, what the user might say to uh, kick those off. And we can save the model and build the model. Whilst that's doing that, we'll just oh, I will in this we'll add it in this notes the uh intent so you can just cut, cut and paste them if you want to. Right, so our skill will communicate with our Lambda code and vice versa. So we now need to know what our Amazon skill is. Um, and if we go to our side panel here. Click on our endpoint. We will need to know what our endpoint was. We can copy this to our clipboard. And now when we go back to our Amazon management console, we can add that there. And now our, our Lambda device knows about our skill. And we now need to copy this as well. And copy that so that we can tell our skill and our endpoints about our Lambda device. So we can do that. We need to save the endpoints. And I think that's all we need to do once our device is built. Go back to intents. Uh, let's check we've saved and built the model. We should now hopefully be able to test the device. So I'll stop there before we need, because we need to set up, our, start running our program on the Pi, and then we'll try running it from here. <laughs>